Hello everyone and welcome back to another beekeeping video. It is boiling today. We've just had the hottest day of the year here in the UK and 2016 is already looking to be the hottest year on record ever. But whilst we can chill out with a nice beverage or go jump in some cold water, you have to wonder, how do the bees keep cool? As the temperatures are rising outside, so is the temperature inside a hive. And this is a hothouse of activity. You can have up to 70,000 bees all buzzing around doing their daily busy bee thing, so it's going to get warm. So to control that temperature, the bees need water. Water is essential to the bees, just like it is for us. And they don't just use it for hydration and for cooling down the hive. They also need it to successfully feed the brood. When honey has been inside um, the honeycomb and has been capped, it can crystallize and get quite hard. So the bees need water to dilute it so it softens it up so they can then feed it to the larvae. So even if you don't have your own beehive, it's a really good idea to provide some sort of drinking spot for pollinators like bees in your garden. And a really simple way to do that is just to get a shallow dish, put some stones in it and then top it up with a little bit of water. And you want there to be lots of stones because bees actually like to suck water off hard, wet surfaces, which is why you might have seen bees drinking from the wet ground by a dripping tap in your garden because open water can actually be a little bit dangerous to them. So a setup like the one we've got here is ideal because the bees have somewhere safe to land, they're not going to fall in the open water and drown and it's really easy for them to drink. You just want to make sure that you're regularly replacing the water so that it doesn't get stagnant. Something that beekeepers can do to help the bees regulate the temperature inside the hive is to position it somewhere where it gets a bit of shade during the hottest part of the day. And also when it's really warm, you want to make sure the entrance to the hive is open so that the hive is well ventilated, given there isn't a risk from intruders like wasps coming along to invade. So we know that bees use water to soften up honey to feed to the larvae, but how do they use it to regulate temperature? Well, if it's really warm, the first thing the bees will do is something called fan and this is where a group of bees will line up in a row at the entrance of the hive and they'll fan their wings really really hard and the same happens inside the hive. When the bees are fanning they face the entrance of the hive, lift their abdomens up in the air and then they beat their wings furiously and what this does is create a nice draft of cool air which blasts into the hive and it draws out the warm air so it keeps the temperature cooler but when it's really hot that's where the water comes in. Work bees will go out and collect droplets of water and at the entrance of the hive they pass the water to younger bees. It's these bees job to take those droplets inside the hive and spread it thinly, oh hello, <laughs> and spread it thinly over some of the empty cells in the honeycomb. They then fan the water really hard, this evaporates it and cools down the area. So clever! And there you go guys, please do try and make your very own bee bar just like this one in your own gardens at home because the pollinators are going to really appreciate it, especially when the weather is so hot like this. I am boiling so I need to go and have a drink, I hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more just like this, stay curious and I'll see you soon.